Here's a question for game developers. Should you buy assets or create everything yourself? Let's be honest, there are only two reasons to buy assets. The first reason is to save time and money, because time is money. Instead of spending 100 hours creating a system, you spend, let's say, 50 euro and it's pretty much done. The second reason is that you have no clue how to do something, which is basically the same as requiring infinite amount of time to complete it. So really, the only reason to buy assets is to save time. By the way, make sure you stay until the end because I have a few bonus tips for when you go asset shopping. All right, buying assets saves you time, but unfortunately, there's also a trap. Not all assets will save you time in practice. Some will actually waste your time. We can map assets by price and amount of time it saves you. Let's start with the perfect category. The asset is free and saves you time. Yes, they do exist. Like Dutrine or Cinemachine, you also find free props, models, textures here as well. Those are the kind of assets that you will be adding to every new Unity project. Up there, it gets expensive, but still saves you a ton of time. For example, the last assets I bought that were totally worth it were Odin Inspector and Prefab World Builder. Now comes a problem. Some assets, especially big all-in-one solutions, are expensive and might not save you as much time as you would imagine. And this all depends on what you want to do. Let me explain. This is a set of features you need for your game. And this is a big do-it-all expensive premium asset that you found. More often than not, there is only a small part that overlaps because your game is slightly different than what a particular asset is made for. You might just need this and maybe part of here and here. But this asset is so massive that there are many dependencies and now you're in the process of customizing or worst, fighting against the framework because you want to do things that was not meant to be. And at the end, even if you just need this, you will have all of this in your project and that makes your project bloated. I won't point a finger at any particular asset. Here you might find large quest systems, world builders and so on. And finally down there you will have a lot of cheap assets that will waste your time. Those are often simply outdated or already of poor quality. Obviously, this area is to be avoided. If an asset falls into here, you might be better off finding an alternative or building a simpler version yourself. All the top part are most of the time quite large packages, and so you will need to invest some time to learn to use them. The main advantage of doing it yourself is that you can focus on implementing only what you really need. Your project will be less bloated and you'll have more control and understanding of it. The downside is that you're responsible for the maintenance. But self-maintained software is better than badly maintained paid software. And at the end of the day, buying an asset is an investment. You pay now, but if it's a great asset, it will pay itself back project after project after project. But this trend does not happen when the asset you bought is just a bloated mess. The opposite might even happen. All right, extra tips for next time you go asset shopping. I always make sure that whenever I buy an asset, it explicitly says that it supports URP or HDRP, especially if there are some more complex shaders involved. Another tip is that in this part, there are paid assets of great quality that saves you a ton of time, but they are overused. And those are typically 3D models or characters. And even though they are game ready and you save really a lot of time by using them, it doesn't help you because your game doesn't look unique and actually you might pay a heavier price down the road. Last tip, there's one category of assets that is always worth it. And I'm talking about VFX packages. And it's not the effect itself that is valuable, but it is the sprites and alpha maps that come with the package that are really, really useful and you never have enough of it. All right, that's all for this video, which was a little bit different than what I usually do. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, uh, please like and subscribe uh, to this channel. That would be really, really awesome. All right, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time and uh, go and work on your game.